What's up guys, I'm Wisby, and today I'm here to tell you where my story started and where I am today. I always kind of felt that I'd be doing something to my own calling. Never really took myself as like an in the box, kind of in a cubicle. Not that there's anything wrong with that either. Everybody kind of has their own, their own calling. Um, but for me, that was never something I gravitated towards. As an artist and a creative, I find some kind of responsibility to articulate those things that people can't and to possibly convey messages uh, that can make a change. On my art, um, I do acrylic on canvas painting. I do a lot of silk screening, black and white photography, neons, casting, mold making. I and mean, if it's something that I haven't done, that's probably on my list of things to do. To be able to work for myself is great because uh, I'm allowed the freedoms to kind of navigate through this world how I deem the most efficient. It's a love-hate relationship, that's for sure. One of the biggest learning curves was what is a productive, successful day and what is an unproductive, successful day? And honestly, personal mental health days are productive, successful days. I've never liked the term procrastination because I was also one of those kids that was deemed to have like ADHD and all these things. Procrastination like culturally seems to be basically defined as if you leave something to the last minute or not. I binge work, I work very last minute, I work up until the last minute. Um, am I going to do something before it needs to get done? Not necessarily. Who's gonna call me out on procrastinating? I am my own boss and I do work for myself, so as long as I get done what needs to get done, did I execute what I need to execute is really what I focus on. The thing about procrastination, if you wanna use it towards your advantage, is it's like, look inside internally how you structure time, how you work most efficiently, what you need to do to get things done, um, and then how you define that is totally up to you as well. The biggest thing for me that's held me back is myself and fear, whether it's pertaining to my creative career now or just as an adolescent and like getting through school. I'm a college dropout, you know, I didn't graduate and I didn't follow traditional form, but this is what I do. I create, I literally create the path moving forward. So sometimes if I get a little bit wrapped up in myself, what I'll get caught up on is uh, future tripping. I get worried about like, am I gonna run out of ideas? Are people not gonna like me anymore? What's gonna happen if this doesn't work? So many things that I've worried about in the past, so many people, places, and things, and ideas, and fears, and aren't here today. You know, anything that I was worried about, or whatever it may have been, never carried through and survived that whole journey. The biggest thing that I could say is, is just don't be discouraged and don't listen to the outside noise. Asking for help is a big piece of advice. It doesn't mean that you're weak. It doesn't mean that uh, you're not capable of, but like, I don't know everything. I didn't know that I could sell my artwork in a gallery. I didn't know what selling artwork meant. I didn't know that I could support myself from it. I didn't know the ceilings on it. I didn't know the relationships that I could have with people and the reach that I could potentially have. That's kind of really surprised me. And at this point, I think I could safely say it's, there is a global reach.